So there's our American buff geese out in the pasture with the horses and the cows. And uh, we're just kind of talking something about uh, in the winter time with the geese. For, for us, having had other poultry and whatnot, I mean geese are obviously birds, but in a lot of ways they're more similar to raising larger livestock. Um, they require quite a bit of space. They're quite cold hardy, which is fantastic. And they do benefit, I mean they are grazers. They're, uh, they are really the original and only true quote-unquote pastured poultry. I mean you can raise them on pasture pretty much alone when it's growing. What you can see these guys doing is uh, they're essentially picking through an area that the bigger animals had hay and they've pretty much eaten what they want out of it but the geese can still pick up the little tidbits of leaves and, and whatnot that's in there that the bigger animals left. And uh, we do find that uh, although it's impossible to measure it, uh, they consume a lot of this. We do find throughout the day when those are out and available because the bigger animals uh, are basically using them, the, the geese do go over to them and they will eat again a fair bit off the hay. Now geese aren't oh, going to be uh, photovolumed by a cow. They would waste a lot of it like if you just plunk this down uh, for the geese and didn't have the bigger animals uh, you know they're not going to go through it all they're going to bed down in it they're going to you can see them here their uh, their feet do get a little on the cool side uh, so they often pl sit down and uh, sort of warm them up. It's very difficult to say you know a, ge a goose should have x amount of hay available to them in the winter months but we definitely find if you keep them with larger animals, cows, sheep, horses, whatever, um, they will benefit from the access to that. Why am I zooming in on a pile of horse poop when I'm talking about geese? Well, the answer is quite simple. Uh, geese historically were often kept around horse stables for a few reasons. One, they break parasite cycles because obviously they don't pick up uh, parasites that horses would uh, would carry. But two, they actually consume in the background, they actually consume manure. And the reason for that is obviously horse manure, as you can see here, if I zoom in closer, it's, it's cold so they haven't consumed much of this, but uh, you can see they have worked on it. You can see the little bits that have been chewed off. And uh, Basically a horse doesn't digest a lot of the, the matter that it consumes, but it it does still nevertheless break it down. Um, which of course in the winter months when there isn't pasture available, that's another sort of food source available to geese. Similar to what we were just talking about with the hay, would we advocate feeding horse manure directly to geese? No. But if you have the larger animals, uh, and in particular if you have horses, this is just another way that your diversified livestock on the farm sort of uh, help utilize what's in this case actually a waste product in a way that uh, is somewhat beneficial. I'll do a quick uh, super quick video on this of what we do for the larger animals. We've already done it for the uh, the chicken uh, mix that we have. Um, we'll link that up above but for the larger animals basically all we do is take one of these big feed scoops full of the oats, excuse me, the whole oats, which I've already put in there, you can see, and it's, it's relative, if you need to go a little bit more you can. And then we come over to the uh, wheat, and depending, like this time of year I'm probably like a half scoop, um, it's pretty cold today, but uh, usually I'm somewhere between a half and a quarter, so about a third uh, of a scoop. But I am going a little heavier today. And just put that in, and then we take that in the house and soak it exactly the same way we do the, uh, the, um, the chicken grain, and that's pretty much it. So very, very, very simple. And the geese seem to do really well on it. And then we just kind of feed in their little dishes. And they'll come in and uh, 
I can see a lot of that. Go here too and do this one. So there's kind of their ration. We split it up because they get along well enough, but uh, no sense of crowding them at the dinner table. So we're going to go ahead and uh, bring them in. Well, time to uh, get these guys up and into the barn for the night. They, uh, when we came outside, they came over here and laid down to sleep. One thing about large waterfowl, um, and this is even wild waterfowl as well, the larger they are, the uh, general statement, but they're usually better at uh, dealing with the cold by just kind of sitting and doing very little and burning little energy. Some of the native swans, um, they can go, I'm not going to say a couple days, but they can go a while without eating and, and still be in good shape. But these lucky geese are going to get to go eat in the barn, so uh, I'm going to run them in here. Alright guys, let's go. And flying is apparently easier than walking in the cold, which I don't blame them. Well, there they are, enjoying their uh, dinner. I'm letting everybody know about it. Anyways, everybody's in for the night.